is a few quick tips for pole elastic choice when you're fishing on natural venues. For me, I like to keep my selection quite small and compact. That way you use each elastic quite a lot. You really get to know the characteristics of each elastic. So that allows you to select the right one every time you're on the bank. It's a real bonus that for me. So I'll start off with the heavier one I use. This is a blue Darwa Hydro Elastic. I, this is my go-to elastic for bigger bonus fish, whether that's in the middle of winter on a canal or on a big lock or reservoir in the summer, blue would be my choice. It's got a nice thickness to it. So if you're fishing with a, a big hook bait with a big hook for like a bony mouth perch or something like that, this will set the hook really well, but still retain that softness when you're playing the fish, so you're gonna lose less. So for big bonus fish, blue's my go-to. Next up, we've got pink hydro. This would be my choice when I'm catching lots of small fish at speed, looking to be really aggressive, swing quite a lot of the fish as opposed to netting them so you can be more efficient and faster. Or also if you're fishing for lots of small fish, but the peg is particularly deep, so you're using a quite a big pole float, you've got to strike through that pole float into the fish. So if you use too light or elastic, you'll bump the fish. So pink is a great compromise for that. It's obviously he heavier than a, a lighter yellow or light hydro, but for smaller fish, you need to strike through that big float. You need a bit of more um, substantial elastic. Pink's the one for that for me. Next up, we've got the yellow. Yellow is the thinnest hydro in the range. And for me, it's, the, it's a great elastic when you're looking to catch lots of small fish and the water's particularly shallow. So it will not, they won't smash on the top when you hook them and spook the rest of the shoal. It's also a brilliant elastic yellow for those days where it's hard and every bite counts. So you wanna lose absolutely nothing. Take your time, get every fish in. Yellow is a brilliant elastic. The only other elastics I use for my fishing on natural venues is if I'm fishing on a shallow canal in the winter, I go for a number three or four solid elastic. I'd use the three if it was fishing in shallow water for small fish or particularly small fish fishing anyway, and I'd use a four for pretty much everything else. I put all these elastics through the same length of pole. I don't muck around with lengths. Again, keep it to the, um, the simple theme and nice consistent theme. I just put them all through the match number two and three sections of my pole. And I finish every one with a pole elastic connector, whether it be a small size for the three hollow elastics or an extra small size for the two solid elastics. They're my go-to every time. I use them exactly as they come on the stick with the ultra stiff braid, that braid, kicks your uh, pole rig away from your pole top nicely, vastly reduces tangles when you're shipping in and out quick. So great bonus that is for me. So that's my small selection of elastics I use. So I like to keep it nice and simple, as I say, get to know every elastic, check everyone every time you go out for wear and tear. Hopefully you won't go far wrong.